Did it go out? I feel like it just went out. Careful, oh. there it is, there it is. What's up guys, I'm back out here again with my good friend Matt Pat from Game Theory. Yep, wet, wild, and ready to science. We are down here with an experiment requested by Triple Trouble who wants to know, what if you mix thermite with water and try to light it off? It's a great question. It also is a question that I was looking to answer. How could Mario throw fireballs underwater? It's the sort of scientific thing I've been wondering about for a while. So today we're killing two birds with one stone. To make this happen, I went on Amazon and ordered some of these colored tennis balls. Like this. And the idea is we're gonna mix up a fresh batch of thermite, use an improvised funnel to fill these balls up, light them off with a sparkler, and run a number of tests. And hopefully not get arrested on a public beach along the way. <laughs> Tell us again, Matt, what is your interest in actually seeing uh, a thermite ball burning underwater? When it comes to video games, Mario's fireball ability and how he launches fireballs underwater is probably one of video games' weirdest scientific myths, right? right? Because fire and water in real life just don't mix. So, is there a way today that we can prove that you can light a fire underwater? And this is a really interesting thought because we know that that thermite itself burns around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Water seems to extinguish every fire that we put into it. Right. So what happens when the two extremes mix? And furthermore, if you wet thermite in advance, can you even get it to light off at all? What I'm wondering here, Matt, is once we pack the thermite into a tennis ball, yeah. it's going to be confined. Does that mean it's going to just burn normally or do you think it's going to explode? I I think it's gonna burn normally. Okay. That's my prediction, but there's only one way to find out. I think so. So let's go mix up a batch of thermite, pour these things in, and throw in some sparklers, getting ready to light off. Create some underwater fireballs. Mario, eat your heart out. <laughs> So just a quick update here, guys. We've finished mixing up three parts of rust powder with one part of aluminum powder to create our thermite. I'm thinking we've got three different experiments here. We've got the one where we just fill it up with thermite and light it off to see how it reacts when it's dry. Sure. The second experiment, we're gonna soak it to see how it reacts when it's wet. Yep. And for our grand finale, we're gonna fill one of these things up, light it on fire, and then drop it into a fish tank full of water to see how this stuff reacts completely submerged. Hopefully, thus creating our underwater fireball. Let's put it to test and see if we can make it work. On a scale of danger from 1 to 10, what would you list this as? I'm going to put this up there as a solid 10. Wow! This is dangerous. That is that is some quality YouTube science thing going on right that, here. That's why we're doing it on a public beach with lifeguard supervision. Ooh, resilient. Yeah! yeah. There you go. That's, that's a satisfying pop. Cool. Got it. Here's our improvised funnel. Beautiful. For the win. Oh, that's there cute. There you go. That looks pretty cute. That's not bad. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, Matt. You know what it looks like as an improvised uh, badminton birdie? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, we got a built-in scoop. Wow. That's cool. And then we just shake it in, I'm thinking. Yep. Okay, that's delicious. Yeah, that's gonna be super safe. There's quite a bit in there. It's yeah. almost almost filled to the top. That is loaded up. There we go. Cool. There's one ball. We'll set that down. We may as well pack the other ones while we're here. Sure, why not? Matt Pat is a natural thermite gear nade maker. <laughs> let's let's not spread the word about that one too widely, <laughs> shall we? Don't want to get put on any watch lists. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Experiment number one. This is our dry thermite. We're putting this to the test just to see how it reacts in an environment that we understand. Right, it's, it's kind of the control of this experiment, so we know that this is gonna light up. We just wanna see how big of a- There it goes, it's gonna do. run away. It's a little bit of smoke, right? There we go. I was wondering if it would actually pick up. Now you're just going to bury that with sand to get rid of the smoke. Come check this out. So just throwing in a little bit of sand there to kind of help cool it down. But uh, if we dig that back out, we're going to find a hot pile of molten iron. Oh, and uh, apparently a part of a quesadilla. Look at that right there. Incredible. This is what's left of our tennis ball. That's our tennis ball and that's molten iron? 
That right there has molten iron in it. Wow. It's, it's covered in slag and the molten iron is like buried on the inside like a gem. Incredible. So let's talk about what just happened there, Matt. Pat? Please do. So at first I didn't think the sparkler was gonna light it off. It went below the line of the tennis ball and it seemed to fizzle out. Yeah. And just when all hope was lost, right it lit back it. up. And just for a brief moment in time, I would say about one or two seconds, mm -hmm. it was spraying out almost like a firework spray, a firework fountain yeah. of sparks about five or 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. In, in your direction. In my direction. That's, that's why you don't in stay down In my general direction. No, that was incredible because look, the, the tennis ball itself is pretty much disintegrated. If you feel that, even five minutes later, you can see this is quite warm. Ooh, it is, wow, it is super hot. It's got an interesting texture to it. A lot of it's burned away. And you could see the tennis ball burning into a billow of black smoke. Yeah, you can even smell it. You can still smell the like burning, like burning rubber. rubber? Yep. Yeah. So to put out the fire, the only thing we could do really is pour sand on top. That extinguished the fire, but you can see when we dug this back up, we had a glowing piece of iron sitting on top of our pile of sand, which even right now is extremely, extremely hot. Yeah, you can you can actually hear the like sand popping off of it. So yeah. Digging down here a little bit more, I don't know what if this is from us, but there's uh, another piece right there. Wow. Another piece right there. This sand right here feels incredibly hot. At least some parts. Yeah, did. No, I, I feel it totally. Right, oh, right down here, I felt it. Right here. It's like you hit hot pockets. Oh yeah. Where there's little little layers of heat. Yeah. Wow. And, and you can smell that as I dig into the sand. Ooh, yeah, you oh. can. So. Mm. We are. I love the smell of thermite in the afternoon. We are cleaning the beaches. Leave the beach how you found it. That's right. Only mildly polluted. Don't leave your thermite behind. Yeah, geez, guys, come on. This is the remnants of our Maru fireball in open air. Right. So I think the next thing is to light it off and submerge it in water and see what kind of a difference that makes. Let's do that next. See, if I was a Koopa, I would totally be afraid of that. I'm not a Koopa, I'm a human and I'm totally afraid of that. So, legitimate weapon option. Good job, Mario, good job. I'd say that's pretty wet. Oh yeah. It's about as wet as it gets. Right? Just like wet sand. Actually, it's kind of resilient. Like, it's not really soaking in a whole lot. I'll just scoop that and let it stay a little bit longer, okay? Huh. So here we go, guys. Experiment number two. Will wet thermite light off? We soaked this in an aquarium full of water until it's about as thoroughly constituted with water as it can get. It almost looks like red mud at yeah. this point. So we're gonna stick in our sparkler, yeah. set it down in the sand, light it, and run away. Here we go. <laughs> and run away as best as we can. Yep. Nothing. It looks like that just went out. Yeah. I think that just went out. I didn't see anything. Nothing. I mean, that's kind of what I expected. It would have to dry out the water first, and the right. amount of energy it takes to actually vaporize the water right. is a lot more than one of these sparklers is going to deliver. Exactly. So theoretically, like in order to light off wet thermite, you'd have to dry it out with right. the heat. Which in, in turn just defeats the purpose right. then, from the beginning. Because then it's no longer wet. Yeah, then, then it's no longer wet thermite, which was what we were setting out to prove. That's right. All right, guys, this is the big kahuna, the grand finale. We have this tennis ball that we're gonna light. It is dry, so we know that it's gonna go off. Right. And just as it starts sparking, I'm gonna drop that down into our... Do I really wanna drop it, or should I suspend it from some kind of a string? I think you should suspend it from a string, buddy. Like, you're literally holding a ball of thermite in your hand as it's about to go off. Although, think... although the purpose of this experiment is to see if wet thermite will burn, and so once we know that it's burning, if we drop it and it continues to burn, It'll prove that point. I mean, it'll prove the point, but it, that, uh, that says nothing about the safety and security of your hands. Right? Yeah. So. Well, I am willing to put my hands on the line for you today. We're gonna take this ball, we're gonna light it off until we see sparks starting to fly. I'm gonna drop it in the aquarium and we will observe whether or not it continues to burn. I mean, while you're testing it, in the process, if you do it that way, you are testing whether like a Mario type figure could throw a ball like this. And so. this, this is important information to know. This so is, let's put it to the test. These are the most important questions that video gamers since the 80s have needed to know. Woo. All right, get pumped. You're a braver man than I. Moment of truth. There's a thermite. 
Wait for it. Keep close. Did it go out? I feel like it just went out. Careful, oh, there, there it is, there it is. <gasps> oh my God. Whoa! Look at that. Wow! Wow! Oh, careful, careful. Watch where you kneel down. Careful. Oh, that was amazing! Oh my goodness, guys. Did you just literally witness what happened there? As soon as, like, I, I thought it had gone out. Me too. And then as soon as you like turn it towards you, it just lights up. It lights up, it starts sparking. That's when I know the thermite was going in full force. Yeah. Dropped it into the water and it, it did not go out. No, it, it did, not go, did out. not go out. In fact, I almost think it like the uh, reaction accelerated. You could see that burning underwater. As dirty as this water is, you could see it burning. Yep, absolutely. And then the tennis ball floated to the top and continued to burn where I quickly tried to submerge it with a stick. Right, yeah, the ball, I think the ball itself was one of the things I wasn't expecting. I thought loaded with that mixture of metallic powders that it would definitely sink to the bottom. Yes. But no, it, it kept it afloat the entire time. So you just had this like bubbling, burning mass of thermite at the surface of the water. Underwater, yeah. that's right. I've got one more, should we light that off just for fun? I think of so. Course. <laughs> it's action time. Yeah, here it comes. The calm before the storm. Right, there it is. Oh! There it goes. Woo! So what we've learned from this experiment is that wet thermite itself will not ignite. Exactly. It actually takes a substantial amount of heat to vaporize the water before it will light off. Yes. But once it actually is lit, it's very, very difficult to extinguish. It will not go out even underwater. It'll continue to burn. So would the fireballs travel as far as we see Mario throw them underwater? No, probably not. But for short range combat, underwater thermite fireballs, definitely a viable option. But you saw it here on the beaches of California, underwater thermite fireballs, absolutely a scientific fact. And of course, a huge shout out to Triple Trouble for leaving this suggestion in the comments below. You can go ahead and check your YouTube inbox because we are sending you 25 bucks. Cha-ching! But remember, that's just a theory. A random theory. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. There's some B-roll action for you. Oh, look at this. We got ah, our balls back. Balls. Woo, that's amazing. And there's actually iron inside. Look at this. Oh, wow, it's also worth noting the aquarium is actually cracked. Is it? Yeah. The, oh, no way. Yeah, the oh heat from the burning thermite actually cracked the aquarium. Hey guys, one more thing. Let's go ahead and show our friend Matt Pat some love by clicking this little button down in the right hand corner. That'll subscribe you to Game Theorist where we just posted a new video on Pokemon Fire Swirls in real life. So go check out their video, leave a comment that you came from the King of Random, and I'll see you there.